Hello and welcome to a new video about Idle Monsters Tower Defense Evolved! Secret titles unrevealed. Small disclaimer and spoiler alert um, if you don't want to know what all the new titles are, what all the requirements are for them, do not watch the video. Um, I am going to spoil them. Um, I'm only making this video because uh, in the Isle of Monsters Tower Defense Evolved Discord has already been... Uh, we have a spoiler room where all of the titles are available, where you can see what the requirements are, and that's the only reason why I'm already making this video. Otherwise, I would have delayed it a little bit. So, I'll walk you through all the new titles, and let's get right to it. So. The first secret title is False Start. How to get False Start? Well, that's actually pretty easy. You remove everything. There you go. Well, you basically prestige. So, you actually prestige. Uh, you're at wave 1. That's, that's basically the whole clue. And you just press play. This is a False Start. And your progress bar will have like a small bar. And it will have a small bar because you basically have to do it 20 times over and over. Um, just checking my temps here quickly. There we go. So, up next. Up next is Never Lucky. Never Lucky indicates when you fail a wave with one enemy left, which has below 10% HP. Um, I shouldn't have prestige because now it's really hard to explain. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to go to one of your highest waves possible and then you'll put like a full uh, loadout with all debuff people, all debuff towers. Uh, you basically set them to not skill support because you want them to do poison damage. Uh, why? Because the poison damage will basically lower their HP to a certain point that they will have lower than 10% HP. Uh, when there's like one left, you press pause. So let me just... You can do this without um, game speed as well. It makes it so much easier. See? One guy left. Uh, when you use all debuffs, you will have like 10% HP. And you just go to your damage dealer. Yeah, you put him on skill support and you let him run and it will oh, scorpions killing it never mind um but yeah you get the point so a guy has to run through all the way to here um with less than 10 percent hp the map doesn't matter uh spellcaster is also a fun one to do uh spellcaster is where you have where you basically use all your spells, all 12 of the spells, um, on one single wave. So, how can you do this very easily? Well, you have your loadouts. So, you have uh, your loadouts with your combat spells, you have your loadout with your resource spells. And, no, these are the buff spells, sorry. And these are the combat spells. Um, this one's not correct, and this one's not correct, but yeah. Uh, let's just load the loadout. Um, so it should be this. There we go. Um, you basically put them on uh, off for all of them in your loadouts as well. You wait for you basically boss rush or you just um, or you go to a very high wave. It doesn't really matter. And then. Then, then you basically use all of your spells. So you'll go to your first loadout, you use uh, this spell, this spell, this spell, this spell. You go to your second loadout, you use all of those spells. And then you come to your third loadout, which is the loadout of the combat spells. Make sure to ha use this as last. Make sure you have your game speed off, that you use your spell, use your freeze, use your death awaits, and then use rain of fire. Rain of Fire is super important that you use it as the last spell. And I believe you have to do that 25 times. The Assassin. That's a very fun one to do. 
So for the assassin, um, you need to use all of your debuff skill, debuff skills from all the debuff towers on a single mob, preferably a boss because that's the easiest to do. Uh, but they need to be done in a specific order because if you do weaken level two, and afterwards you do weaken level one, that will not work. Why not? Because it overrides uh, weaken two is stronger than um, weaken three, uh, weaken one. Sorry. Um, so a specific loadout for it. We can build one. So. I'm just gonna pause the game. Well, you need to be at a very high wave as well. Um, that's very important because you don't want your towers to basically kill all of the enemies. Um, so, what you also want to do is you want to put the range as low as possible because if you have like a, a tower here, you will have like, when when they have big range. You see, they will also hit them on this side depending on the map where you do it so we'll put uh, our flower pot uh, first with slow one and a weaken with boss only our next one is toadstool also minimum range and uh, boss only oh yeah don't forget to put on um, focus attack on bosses that's very important next up is our mole rat and our bat lord so let's see confuse one assassinate um you can no put it on um remove skill support skill support focus boss teleport and here is already slow number two remember change the range to low see because flower pot will slow it first after that our mole will slow it and after that our pet will confuse it. Scorpion has to go last, that's why he has to be there. Um, as you can see that might already be an issue, I'm not sure if it will hit them or not. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Spider King is up next in the, in the line with Confuse 2, Poison 2 and Weaken 2. Then we have uh, the queen worm. The queen worm has to come here because the path is like this. He has slow tree and stun two. Put on focus boss, minimum range as well, so it doesn't hit before the other ones do. Then we go to tanker bot, also minimum range, focus boss. Uh, skill support has to be off because you want it to poison. Uh, teleport two, weaken three. Then we have the ice mage, which also has very big range. Uh, focus boss, skill support off, uh, put these all on boss only, and let the boss run through. Um, and after that, then there's Scorpion. Scorpion has last, everything on boss only, focus boss, and basically let them run. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the uh, enemies are dying because uh, let me just put everything on skill support here. I mean, you don't have to put them on skill support, but you have to do this on a higher wave. But you get the drift there, I suppose. See, they're running. They're all running through. And now a boss is gonna come. Boss wave. Uh, I'll leave Scorpion as, as is. Um, as last, you want a damage dealer so somebody that can actually kill so i'm gonna put skill support on and then on naga there we go as you can see well let me just boss rush for the next wave oh, he's getting teleported that next wave let's see so the boss is gonna come the flower pot uh, basically attacks it he weakens it he slows it with his level one spell then it continues then the toad will do his thing 
to stun the poison and teleport slow number two as you can see the confuse happened from the bat which is at the maximum range that shouldn't be the case and there we go that was the confuse from the spider now the worm that was the teleport from the, the, the um, from the bot that was the teleport from our ice mage and the slow as well as you can see because he's terribly slow run 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 and our damage dealer will eventually kill us and that's it you have to do that a couple of times as well um, I believe 30 times so yeah then speed demon speed demon also a pretty fun one let's remove them all you basically need to have 1150 game speeds um, do keep in mind that the icons for gems are a big help uh, but they're not necessary not necessary I believe I do have them so for me it was pretty easy let's go let's just put in all of your specials especially the one with uh, game speed and there we go and then I'm gonna put in a Naga with trooper bot to increase the strength of my there we go of my uh, time combo so you better do this on desert because you have like the game speed boost uh, let's see how much we already have we have it set off we already have a thousand but yeah I have the game speed icons of course but it's not necessary to have them um, let me do it like this because then Oh, like this there we go already more um, you can use the um, boost the active play boost that counts uh, as you can see you can also use the blind pet and together with the time warp so if you have time warp uh, the blind pet um, let's see how much time warp actually gives let's see uh, time warp gives 200% so that would already make you have it you can use time warp plus 200% you can use the active play which is plus 300% you can have the blind proc which is another 50% so that's 250% extra and you can have the temp boost as well so there's a temp boost for game speed so you can get 400% extra game speed which is really nice and that will basically unlock um, the speed demon title hoarder title is pretty easy one to do it's basically hoard 10,000 gems at one point uh, if you had it in in the past then you'll have it now as well technician is also a pretty easy one uh, technician is well pretty easy one it, it just takes some time you want to have 15,000 tech, tech points saved up right here that's it and you'll unlock it Divergent, um, also a pretty fun title to get. Costs some gems, but it's fine. Just wait until your tournament pushing, uh, and then you can basically get it. What do you have to do? Well, you have to uh, reroll some temporary boost and upgrade them. So, and you have to do that six times. Well, you have to upgrade the six most important titles. Uh, titles, sorry. Um, you have to upgrade the six most important temporary boosts, which are gold drop percentage, uh, tank gold, and boss gold. And then you have to reroll in the same prestige. You cannot log out um, the damage temp boost, the critical hit damage boost, and the critical hit chance boost. You have to max them all in one prestige run, and that will basically unlock you the um, diversion title. Then, number nine, the powerful. The powerful is um, obviously a necromancer related one, which is getting too powerful and you have to reduce his health 250 times. 
it's quite a lot. Um, take some time, but I mean, if the titles were easy to get, then everybody would have them, of course. Dex Master, you can already guess it, have every single pet at maximum level. That's it. As you can see, I have still some titles that are unlocked. Um, but number 11 is the Predator title, which is this title, and it requires 25 million kills on one tower. So if I go to my dragon, you would basically want to see here total kills 25 million. I have 15.9, so I'm missing like 9 and a bit. Um, yeah, it's gonna take me a while. But that's basically how you unlock it. Then, number 12, that's the one that I'm working on right now. Um, I don't actually know what the title is yet. Um, nobody's unlocked it yet, but it requires 5 million kills on Sting. So, Sting is our little B, our little B and I go way back. Um, I have a total kills of 1300 basically. I've been farming for a few, uh, few hours now and a day. Um, but yeah, on my way to get 5 million. And yeah, that will unlock this title. Uh, it might be called the Stinger or something like that. Uh, the reward for this is plus 25% DPS. And for Predator, it's plus 10% uh, kill XP. Uh, I'm Batman for 25% gold drop. So a fun one to do. You basically have to level Batlord to level 30. And that will make you an official member of the Batman team. Number 14, one that nobody has yet either, um, is the Scorpion King. For this, um, the reward is 25% critical hit damage. And what you need to do is bring Scorpion to level 30. Yep, to level 30. That's quite a bit. Uh, tomorrow is the um, Devil XP event. I am definitely going to level it a little bit. And, well, a, li a little bit, you know. A little bit, a lot. Then, Botanists. Uh, these are like a bit more of the fun ones. So, from Botanist all the way to Battle Mage, you'll have to do like 10k waves with a specific setup. So, let me just pause and remove everything. Botanist is all about plants. We can leave Blossom here and Flora as well. So, uh, we basically want all the plants in here. Um, so, what are all the plants? We have our flower pot, of course. We have a toadstool. I know that mushrooms are not really plants, but they're fungus and whatever. Plant chewer. Uh, let's see. The cactus boss is also a requirement for botanist. And of course, our little bloom, pixie. You can actually combine some of the. Um, well, a ti secret titles. For example, you can put sting here. Um, sting is all the way up and do some kills with Sting, that's all fine. Um, you also, oh, for, excuse me, for Botanist you also need Petal. You need Petal and Blind, so you need a special tower with the pet Blind. Because it's, it's like a mushroom-ish thing. It's also a requirement for the Botanist. And then you just have to do it like this, that's it. 10k, 10k waves, 10,000 waves like this. That's it. Nothing more. Um, not too hard. Not too easy either because you need a level 20 um, support pet. But I don't think that's too hard to get. No. It will take some time but it's not one of the harder ones out there. Then, up next you have the Reaper a secret title. Which is the one I unlocked first. Which was very fun to find. Let's go for the Reaper. Let's pause it. Phantom can stay because Phantom is a requirement. The Reaper is basically a mix between Halloween and 
all the weird monsters. So skeleton mage is a requirement and before I forget the devil Hades pet is also a requirement for the reaper. Um, let's see. Um, soul mage is a requirement. Shadow, Death Mage, Rave is a requirement, Horror is a requirement, Queen Worm is a requirement. Uh, I'm actually not too sure about Soul Mage. I'm not sure that Soul Mage is a real requirement, but doesn't hurt to add him. Um, so we have Skeleton Mage, we have Death Mage, we have Wraith, we have Phantom, we have Shadow, Queen Worm, Horror, and Devil Hades. It's perfect. Like, as you can see, you can also just use uh, Sting and kill it. I don't think uh, Soul Mage is a requirement. I'm not too sure anymore. Uh, but yeah, doesn't matter. You can just add them. Uh, zoologist is also a fun one to do. That's, I think Zoologist is one of the slowest ones to do. So yeah, good luck with that. Of course, Zoologist, oh, let me remove this, is all about the cute pets. So um, you have bird, you have hare, you have bolt cat, you have bat lord, because there's bats in a zoo as well. You can uh, put Bat in front and kill stuff with Bat uh, to get your I'm Batman title as well. So that you can combine some of them. The Mole Rat King is also uh, a requirement for the Zoologist. Then we have the Hermit King, that's also a requirement. Um, the Dog Bow Wow is a requirement. Uh, the Werewolf is a requirement. And. Scorpion and Naga. This is it. As you can see, it's eight pets, um, eight towers, and the anteater pet is also a requirement because an anteater is also an animal. Um, and that's it. So you don't have anything else to add, but I would suggest making the kills with uh, Batlord to get him to level 30 as well. And that's basically how you unlock the zoologist. And up the Mecha Lord. All right, let's remove everything again. You're probably already guessing Mecha Lord is indeed all of the bots. So Nexus bot is one of them. Tanker bot is one of them. Um, Blaster bot is one of them. The Tentacles bot is one of them. Gripper bot is one of them. Uh, did I forget any more bots? No, it's five. Then we need some debuffs as well. So we need some debuff towers in order to get uh, extra bots in there. So we're gonna add a high level uh, debuff tower to get the Spider Queen bot assigned, because that's a requirement. And we'll add another debuff pet, with, which is spider bot. Those are also required for this title. Then you need to add a damage dealer with the dragon bot pet. There we go. Um, you can have that on Sting. You don't need to do it on, um, on your darkness dragon. It's definitely not a a required thing. Um, let's see, then there is also... Um, yeah, let's just add another damage dealer with the Razor Bot Pet. There we go. And you can add Shell Bot to this guy, or you can just add, like, do, do it like this, and then you don't need Sting. 
Um, and then we actually need one more support. Uh, the support doesn't matter. Just needs to be level 15 for our snout bot. Which is also a bot, of course. And then, last but not least, the level 25 pet. The trooper bot. You can have that on Blossom if you want. Um, but yeah. These are all the bots in game. Um, that's basically what you want. It's quite a lot of bots. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. They all have the, the name bot. So, that's all nice. Then, Battle Mage. Battle Mage, yeah, you can already guess it. It's a magical title. This is really good. Like the plus 5 spell duration in combination with spell duration here for pushing uh, during tournaments. Oh yeah, it's definitely good. So, let's get our mage set up here. Skeleton mage, that's our first. Soul mage, uh, fire mage, angel, ice mage, death mage and wind mage. Uh, those are all the mages, and then there's another requirement for a tower, and that is Golem. Why is Golem in there? That's a very good question. Well, Golems are created with clay by mages. I guess that's the only reason to include it into the battle mage. Um, there's no pets required for this one. So, this is it, and this is how you get killed. Um, just got 10k waves, that's it. Not kills, 10k kills. Uh, you want 10k waves. Um, then we have Arachnid. It's also a cool title. It's a bit easier to do. You can use, you can basically use your normal setup. Um, you just remove your damage dealer. And you add the Spider King. And you add the spider queen bot to it and uh, you need to attack with it and you need to have 50,000 kills with it and that will unlock the title and then last but not least is the dragon tamer so uh, dragon tamer loads um, it's this Oh, small reminder for the Arachnid title. Uh, when you use Spider King and Spider Queen Bot, Spider Queen Bot has to be level 10. Uh, that is a requirement. You cannot just level Spider uh, King to level 20 and use the pet. You actually need this pet at level 10. The same goes for the last achievement for the Dragon Tamer. So you need Darkness Dragon at evolution 25 in combination with the dragon bot and the dragon bot also has to be level 10 and then you need 1 million kills with it 1 million not 50k like arachnid but 1 million it's not too bad it's very doable it takes maybe like two days or something or three days um, but it's definitely worth of the extra dps and those are all the titles. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you watched it and didn't want a spoiler, well, that's too bad. There we go. I'm gonna work back on Sting because, yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get this. Nah, definitely two weeks. Ah. All right. Um, so those were the secret titles. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, make sure to join the Discord if you have any questions. I'll leave the Discord link in the uh, description below. Um, don't spoil anything in the Discord in the regular chat, but use the spoiler room chat. And uh, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.